the universe expands faster than the speed of light. It's continuously accelerating. If a particular particle is traveling at the speed of the expansion of the universe, isn't it tending to be to become non-existent as far as our universe is concerned? As in the speed at the speed of light due to time dilation, time freezes, the particle is going in the past, well, experientially maybe not as per its path of movement and therefore towards the creation of the universe, therefore approaching that non-existent state. So does the expansion of the universe result in its inevitable annihilation? Okay, let's understand what the superluminal expansion of the universe means. When you say that the particle, that a particle is traveling at the speed of the expansion of the universe, it doesn't mean it's traveling through space-time. It means space-time itself is expanding. Imagine you have a birthday balloon, you, you blow it up and it becomes bigger, right? So let's say you have an ant sitting on a balloon, which is of this size, and you're blowing the balloon, the balloon gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So without moving, the ant which is sitting on the surface is getting further and further away from any point on the balloon, right? So as the balloon expands, without traveling on the balloon, without walking on the balloon, just by sitting there, the ant is getting further and further away, further and further away because of the expansion of the balloon. The expansion of the, of the universe is something similar to that. It's an accelerating expansion. Space-time itself is expanding. So a particle is not traveling through space-time. It is just sitting in place, but the space-time itself is going further away. And the further you are from here, the further the, the, the acceleration is and the faster that particle is getting away from, from us. And there comes a point where the expansion of the universe is super luminal from our perspective, which means that it's expanding faster than the speed of light, which doesn't break the rules of general relativity. It, it's because it is not something that is traveling through space-time faster than the speed of light. It means the space-time itself is expanding faster than the speed of light, which is something that we experience during the phenomenon of inflation in the very early universe in which the universe expanded superluminally, faster than the speed of light. And it's still happening right now as we go further away. So what that does is that every second that we exist, there are parts of the, of the universe that are going beyond our observable horizon. Which means that the observable universe every single second is getting smaller. Because there are parts of the universe that are now expanding beginning to expand faster than the speed of light, which means we can never see them again. They're going beyond our observable limits. And eventually, after several billion years, all we will be able to see because of the acceleration, accelerating expansion of the universe, eventually all we will be able to see is just our local galaxy. By that time, our galaxy will have merged with the Andromeda galaxy. So if humans still exist at the point, the only thing they will know about the universe is the local galaxy, nothing else. Because everything else would have uh, expanded away with the expansion of the universe. So that is what we mean by the universe becoming, the observable universe becoming smaller. It's because it's expanding so fast. So particles become non-existent for, from our perspective because they go beyond our observable horizon. So they don't go back in time. Time doesn't freeze. Time dilation happens only when you're traveling inside space-time. Time dilation doesn't apply when, when the space-time itself expands and goes further away. So that's something you will understand if you actually study, let's say, special relativity or general relativity. But that's what I can say in, in brief.